Hey guys, uh, I just heard the truck pull away and I fixed some things here. I'm expecting a, a airplane bit, uh, today from uh, Arrows RC. They're a new company up in Minnesota and I was lucky enough to, to, to win one. So here, let's go get it and uh, follow me. Sweet, let's get her in the house. Excuse the mess a little bit, I was just doing that. We just still can't seem to find a good day to fly, guys. Wind will not let up. It's been relentless here. The wind and the rain. Well, I think I see a doggy who wants to come in too. Okay. Uh, give me a moment here, guys, and we'll get this get this set up for a video, an unboxing, and uh, we'll catch you in a short. Hey, guys, Skip here, Skip Built RC. Uh, might remember about a week or so ago, uh, Saturday before last, actually, I won a drawing uh, on with these two guys here, with Captain Ryan and and Dan, the owner of Arrows RC, flight made. Uh, right he says they've got four planes uh, i think so far they're they're building up their stock but brand new company that he's building up and uh, i was fortunate enough to, uh, to, to win the corsair the grand prize so we're going to do an unboxing of that i just received that in the mail here and i just wanted to show a quick quick little clip of uh, uh, of that win that night because i was really excited to tell you the truth uh, there's a story that goes behind it and the numbers at the time uh, if you guys check out this video at the exact time that they drew my name and my number it was at 11344 my number was 44 but I have always had this 13 or 113 following me around my entire life even the number on my f4 phantom has 113 on it just as an example my address 4315 adds up to 13 so anyway it was just really weird that that happened so let's play this for you here real quick and uh you ready ready already all you right. guys ready already i really right, thank you guys for this dan yeah dan so captain if you are looking to get out in a hurry you can go after we're dry, done dry Dan, so, Pilot Ryan, thank oh, yeah, you very yeah, much for this. Leave. This is for the new Corsair, right? Oops. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, it there's an art to it. This is for the new Corsair, right? This is for the new Corsair. Barry Gruder only has the new T28. Note so the time here, guys. Mustang. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, that feels like a good one. All 113, right. 44, right? Number 44, Skip Metty. Skip Met. Met. Yeah. He Skip had it right the first time. Metty. Pilot. Skip built RC. Turn on them nav lights yeah, and those it. landing lights. And you'll be ready to go. That was great, guys. And Dan, you had it right with Skip Metty. Metty. M-E-T-T-E. Metty. Uh, a lot of people call me Met, but uh, or Meat, that's even worse. But Meddy, that's the way it is. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get on with the uh, unboxing, thanks to Arrows RC, Dan, Pilot Ryan. Thank you both very much. This was a wonderful show, too. I really enjoy your, your show, Pilot Ryan. Uh, uh, Dan, looking forward to seeing you more. And uh, on with the unboxing. Hey guys, Skip here. Uh, as I mentioned, the uh, uh, Corsair from Arrows RC just arrived today, and we're going to unbox this and show it to you. I haven't seen anything really too much about it except for uh, their advertisements and stuff. And from what I've seen of it, it, it looks pretty like it's going to be pretty neat, neat little plane. Uh, just in the fact that I see it has uh, retracts and it has flaps and it has lights. And stuff like that that's not stuff you ordinarily see on an 1100 millimeter so let's take a look at this thing
you know, I have not pre pre examined this. I have not opened it up or, or anything, so it's doing this right along with you. Let's see what we've got here. Packing slip. $189 plane guys um, they have a promotion on it right now $20 off if, if, at the time that I'm doing this I believe it was still on I was checking their website um, hobbyzone.com or arrowsrc.com uh, find this plane uh, you get a $20 coupon $20 off it so you get it for $169.99 $170 it's even better yet Shows a nice little picture of the, of the plane. I like the graphics on the cowl. That's something I haven't seen on the Mustang White Spinner. And uh, some overall specs here. We've got wingspan of 1,100 millimeters. Overall length, 88, uh, 880 millimeters. I'm not an attorney. I can't read upside down too well. But um, flying weight, blah, blah, blah. You can read all this yourself. It's got a 40 amp ESC, uh, six 9 gram servos, Six channel radio, it's uh, required. You can use your own. I'm going to put a uh, an Admiral uh, stability receiver in this thing. I just happen to have one, so I might as well use it. Uh, let's see everything else here. It tells a bunch of different good good stuff, cool stuff on this. Anyway, I imagine we're going to have uh, some tape on the bottom of here. Uh, not a whole lot of tape either, guys. Just a couple pieces. It's not taped to the gills. It's coming. It's coming. There we go. Let's just set that down here. Like that. A little bit of tape here just to got some protection stuff in here packaging okay so it looks like a one-piece wing wasn't sure if it was a if it was going to be a one-piece wing or not but it is a, a one-piece wing looks pretty nice to tell you the truth guys take a look the uh, the finish the panel lines lights Landing lights, tail uh, wing marker lights, navigation lights, flaps. Yeah, this thing's, things actually got flaps, functional flaps, and uh, twisting twisty landing gears. So the landing gear twists as it goes in. This is really going to be pretty nifty, guys. This fire and the reinforcement and stuff I mentioned is already built in through it. So let's just lay this here. Yeah, I'm kind of doing it this way so you guys get to see. Excuse me, buddy. I'm sorry. Oh, no, you can't come in here yet. Yeah, it's going to use a spot. Here. Yeah. Oh, then I can lay it all out nicely on the table as we pull it out. All right. I suppose I should have rehearsed this a little bit. Some more packaging stuff here, guys. They really do put a lot in there. Protect this. Looks like they've done a real good job with that. We've got some drop tanks. Times two. Uh, slide on clips. Slide on clip on. Well, well, hey, I'm doing a video, dude. Let's not do the bottle right now, okay? Please. <laughs> You're smiling at me. I'm doing, Dad's doing a video. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. 
Did you see that face on that dog though? Hey, we're trying to do a video up here. Guys, the fuselage, check this out. Again, nice, nice panel lines. Decals already applied. Nice paint work too, guys. Really, honestly, to tell you the truth, I'm, I'm kind of impressed. And by the pictures, I wasn't sure if it had retract doors or not. Those are fixed. So it's a fixed, uh, fixed gears here, but it is a steerable landing gear. And let's see what else I want to pull out. And then we'll go through the inside and stuff. I want to use this to prop it up a little bit. The text, there we go. We've got some more goodies in here. Okay, we've got one of our elevators. Uh, comes with a nice operating manual. Written in English. Looks like everything is pretty much there. CG, all the information and stuff you need to know on this it is here. I believe this runs on, on 3S, like a 2200 or a uh, but being a 40 FESC, I'm betting it takes a, it'll it'll take 4S batteries too, which we'll find out. I'll take a look at the instructions. I don't know a whole lot about this plane. I actually just won this. By the way, guys, this thing, uh, this is this plane has been provided to me by uh, Arrows RC. It's a new hobby company. They just started up, and they've got uh, uh, I think four or five planes out now. Anyway, the guy that uh, owns the place, his name is Dan. Very nice guy. Uh, caught them on the Pilot's Lounge the other night with Pilot Ryan. Uh, jump on his channel, guys, on Saturday nights he does his Pilot's Lounge. And everybody gets on there and has a good time talking about a bunch of stuff. But they did a drawing a couple of weeks ago, and I was the grand prize winner, I guess, the last, the last one to win. And this was it. So I won this Corsair from Arrows, R uh, Arrows RC, and I promised I would do a, an unboxing. I would always do that anyway, but... Uh, uh, I want to give them credit for this because it's very nice and it's beautiful. I mean, I don't see any dents or anything nasty on this thing at all. I'm going to show you guys and give you a real close-up view of everything in here. One-piece prop. Okay. That'll make it real nice and easy to balance, too, that way, guys. You know, sometimes you get the separate piece, separate piece props and then you just got to weigh them and hope you get it close enough once you get the spinner and everything together. And then you got to balance it out with the spinner and everything together. Um, that's the proper way to do it. That takes a lot of time, as opposed to just putting it on there and just balancing it out in one shot. And you got your hardware bag. As a uh, metal insert on the spinner, and they've got the uh, hardware that goes around the prop to hide that and, and make it look real. And uh, looks like one, two, three, four, five, five bolts. So five, five screws is all it's going to take, unless there's an extra one in here. One, two, three, four, probably five uh, is all it's going to take to to hold this plane together, guys. We're going to be doing a build on this thing too, so I will be getting this thing together shortly and sharing that with you as well. I don't want to step on any toes here, <clears throat> toes on toes here, because Pilot Brian may uh, might be getting one of these too as well. He may want to do a mock-up build or, or really uh, do something on his show with this too as well. So uh, I don't want to infringe on, on his time either there. But I did want to get this out and, and show you guys. It's uh, it's really quite nice. Let me bring it around and take a look at that. Take a look at it close up. In fact, I'll just bring the camera down. and the panel lines and everything on the wings twisting retracts functional flaps servos installed looks like they're centered looks like they're actually centered pretty darn nice too and you know sometimes you've got to readjust the, the horns 
It doesn't look like that's going to be the case on this one. But nice one piece wing. Nice finish up on the top. And decals included. Now, does anybody see any dents or scrapes or scratches other than what I might put in there to show this thing around? But yeah, it's got uh, lights, functional navigational lights. Uh, and they're tilted at, at a slight angle, too, so that as the planes, one way or another, you're really going to see them that way. Awesome. Awesome. Let's take a look at this fuselage a little bit. Okay, again, look at the panel lines on this, guys. Nice graphic on the, on the cowl. Fire blade, this is for you. It's not looking up the poop, so it's poop shoot but it is the uh, the motor very nice guys again anybody see any dents or scratches or bruises because I sure don't this thing is just beautiful and that was just styrofoam stuck on the bottom there yeah let's uh pop the top here and take a look at what's inside. Hold on a second, let me set the camera down. Sorry for all that bounce in there, guys. off from the front or from the rear and I don't want to mess it up so let's just give it a push from the bottom to see I don't know <laughs> I don't want to mess this up so I'm going to look at the instructions because I don't see a little catch to release and I don't see a place for your fingers or tabs so I'm going to have to figure this one out guys but it does look real nice I'll probably take something, because when I'm pushing it up to the bottom, it looks like it's, oh, there we go. All right, so it just does pop in. It's just a, a good pop. Uh, what I'm probably going to do is I'll, t I'll get a piece of tape, uh, the clear Gorilla tape, and do a little redundant loop there so I have something to pull it up on. But uh, good thing I didn't just grab that and squeeze it up. Nice little canopy, you know. And here's the insides. Got all nicely laid out. Servos, everything hooked up again. Pretty nicely centered. So getting this thing centered up and squared up, uh, tuned in should be pretty much a snap. Feels like it's got a pretty good, pretty good motor. It's supposed to have an 850 kV motor in here. So like again, I'm with a 40 amp ESC, I might be able to push a 4S battery in this thing. We'll try it with the 3S, see what the manual says, and then uh, experiment a little bit with it. But yeah, nice little plane, guys. I'll get this thing together and uh, get it all tuned up and stuff and get it up in the air soon, hopefully. <laughs> Gosh, I got so many planes to fly now. Sorry, I don't mean to be blocking the camera. But uh, hopefully soon we'll be able to get some of this stuff flying weather ever changes now the it's rain finally stopped now today it's been raining all day long uh, but hopefully this weekend maybe sometime we'll be able to get something quiet in the meantime guys this has been the aero rc corsair brand new from aero rc and uh pilot ryan thank you very much cap uh captain dan captain mike uh, and Dan, owner of Aero RC, thank you very much for this. I appreciate it. And we'll get some more videos out, okay? And uh, we'll catch you guys later. This has been Skip. Thanks for watching. See you soon.